good morning. It is Easter Monday. It's actually starting out to be quite a nice morning. We are uh, losing snow at a rapid rate. It's already well, about one degree, nice breeze blowing. Uh, still ice on the water, but it'll go quick. <clears throat> Didn't do much yesterday. So uh, it was Easter Sunday. And uh, kind of pay the price today for not doing anything yesterday because I got a whole bunch of uh, orders over the weekend for feed. So that'll be uh, that'll be the whole day today is just catching up on. So just like that, that's how fast things change in egg. I just fired up my tractors, checked the oil. I was just getting ready to put the scale on and I got a call from the grain elevator. Uh, they wanted my two loads of canola that I had contracted, so it was pretty cool last night. The ground was still frozen, easy to load it up. So I got this load loaded up, and I'm going to head off to town and uh, make some money. Uh, we did very well on this canola. We sold it for about $17.47, I believe. And, uh, I mean, it was as high as about 18 bucks delivered, so we were, we were going to hold out for 20 uh, unfortunately, we never did hit 20, and the uh, the market started to go the other way. So we started uh, we started committing a few loads here and there. So I made it back with my uh, <clears throat> with my semi, and uh, it's unbelievable how difficult it is to drag around super bees. Like people that don't don't drag them around probably can't even appreciate how how difficult it is to maneuver. So that's all it is. It's just a bit, uh, a bit slimy, and I'm stuck. Like you wouldn't, you wouldn't believe it, but that's all it takes. So, fortunately for me, my dad is here, so he's just gonna grab a tractor and a little sling. He'll be able to give me a little tug, and uh, we'll get loaded. Get another one out of here today. Just getting up here, this trip for me is basically 120 clicks. So, I'm not sure what that is in miles. <laughs> 75 miles maybe, one way. Uh, of course up here, up north, at least that's what we call it, it's 75 miles away from my farm. They got some better options than we do. So we only have basically, uh, our local elevator would be Viterra. These guys have Richardson, they have P&H now used to be Louis Dreyfus. They got Cargill. Um, they got an option for oats and an option for grass seed. So, kind of a frustrating thing for uh, farmers who are find themselves limited to who they can sell to, because you know with the price of custom truckers and the price of fuel, and then if you've got to factor in your time as well like me hauling this myself. There's other things you could be doing, which you're not doing now. So we sometimes factor that in to when we're pricing our grain, you know? I mean, you could get a little bit better money maybe here, but with the amount of time it takes you to, uh, you know, to get up here, you know, it's basically sort of takes all day kind of a thing to haul two or three loads so if you are fortunate enough to be in an area where you have a lot of grain elevators locally just be thankful for that because not all farmers are in that same situation and now they do their fancy probing that's how they check your sample pretty nifty little gadget they got there pretty much all the elevators have them now so pretty neat That's all run, they got a, that's all run remote. They got a camera up here so they can see into your truck. And then they, uh, by the time you get to the driveway, they got you all sampled. Then they're pretty efficient. They got the red and green light here. So you don't actually have to get out. When you do get out, they got a, a microphone or a speaker, I guess there. So you push the button and then you talk directly to them, tell them what you got, who you are, wait for them to sample you. And then they direct you to uh, which driveway over there goes pretty good. So as I said before, this canola I'm hauling right now, we're getting about 1747 a bushel, I believe. 
So right off the combine last fall, you could get about 11 or 12. In order to get that delivery date, you would have had to price that grain last winter. So not the winter that just happened, the one before that. So farmers are often, in, in order to ensure themselves some cash flow and some delivery dates, they're selling grain a year in advance at the, the current year's price, which, you know, if you're just, if you just use any reason at all, you know, in between these two years, you can realize if you're going to sell next year's stuff at last year's price, why would the price ever go up? You know, it's, it certainly is, is really delayed if it goes up at all. Uh, there are certainly some farmers that do well marketing that way. There's all different types of contracts you can do. It, it, it ends up being just a bunch of nonsense, really. The, really, the best way to do it is to uh, basically get yourself a year ahead and uh, have some good quality storage. So instead of selling a crop we haven't even produced yet, we sell last year's crop at this year's price. That doesn't always work. There's tons of risks that come into that, right? Biggest would be spoilage. Uh, some other risks are, uh, you know, well, if things go for if they go for heck then you you know you're gonna be saddled with almost you know what one crop in the bin and the next crop growing so you end up and and there's no way to catch that I mean you really can't sell enough to, to, to catch a falling market so nothing is without risks that is though what we chose to do and a year like this when everybody was selling their canola for $12 in October because they had contracted it the, fall, or the, the previous February to get that October delivery date, we just made sure ours was dry and in condition, threw it in the bin, and uh, all winter actually we watched the price go up, 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 right? It was 11, then it was 12, then it was 13, then it was 15, then 16, and then 17, and then it actually was over 18 for a while, and I heard that if you were going to deliver down south, which is like, you know, it's a little bit rough for us, or to central Alberta, it's about, be about a 550 kilometer trip one way, you could actually get like 1927, 1930 a bushel. So we did miss the 18, but we did get the 1747, which is a really strong price. And uh, I mean, you could almost guess some of the guys even hauling now are hauling grain at, you know, the, the, the same, they, they're delivering canola today too, and they're probably getting, you know, around that $15. So could be roughly six thousand dollars a load less than the next guy but it for the video it's uh always a long day when you go to haul grain but it's a pretty fun day because you get to uh especially when you if you can haul two or three loads of canola at like thirty-five thousand bucks a load you can be pretty excited about that so as always thank you for watching and we'll see you all on the next one